Hi, in this segment of True's Owner Maintenance video series, we're going to cover how to properly clean the condenser. You really need to clean that condenser at least once a month. It does three very important things. It will reduce your energy cost, it will reduce your maintenance bills, and it will increase the longevity of that cabinet. The condenser is located behind the grill here, so let's go ahead and take the grill off. Remember there's four screws in each corner of the grill. Go ahead and take that grill off. Down here, this black grill looking thing, like a radiator on your car, is actually the condensing unit. As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dirt on top of the condensing unit. It's very important to make sure that the condensing unit is cleaned and that you can see through the condenser and that's how you can tell if that is properly clean. A couple things you might need. You might need a heavy duty nylon wire brush here to brush off the dirt that's on that condenser or if you don't have a heavy duty brush you can use a shop vac to suck all that off. But a lot of times what happens in the food service industry is you're actually going to need to get in here and use both. So let's go ahead and take this dirt off the condenser. Just take a stiff nylon brush and brush that lint and dust off of the condensing unit. And we want to make sure that the condenser is properly clean. So we're also going to take a heavy duty shop vac to vacuum out any debris that may have gotten pulled through this condensing unit. Now that that condensing unit's clean, the unit will operate much more efficiently and save you dollars on those costly utility things. Now that we have the condenser clean, we're ready to put the grill back on the unit and start the unit back up. So let's put the grill on and we're ready to go. Make sure that you put the screws back in each one of the corners of the grill and you're ready to start. Thank you.